That's the real deal today. Uh -oh. This is a long one. Okay, even the best marriages get thrown for a loop every now and then. So what do you do when an ex decides to reappear after 25 years? Well, of course, you call on these two. <laughs> and by these two, I mean these two, yeah. the love doctors. Well, That's mostly Chesley. I, I listen. <laughs> I'm kidding. We fight every now and then. Joining me to dive into this and more is our fellow doctor of love, Chesley. This is a good, you know, usually I don't read them, but this, mm -hmm. this was a long one, one okay, and it's a good right. one. Let's, let's check okay, it out. so I was cleaning out my wife's junk mail, mm. very nice of him, and came across an email from her ex-boyfriend of 25 plus years. Okay. It was brief, but the content bothered me. Mm. So after three days of feeling uneasy, I finally decided to approach my wife about it. She said she hadn't even seen the email. She was equally surprised. Well, after talking it through with her, I decided to reply to the email so as to better understand his intentions. What would you think about his response? now? Michelle, you ready? Uh, so, okay. you can't, I can't really yeah, read it can't in really full. See it. Uh, but basically, he's going back and forth. Hi, I'm, I'm just curious as to why you would have checked in with my wife. We're happily married, and the guy's like, oh, dude, it's okay. He's kind of being a little condescending, mm -hmm. which then infuriates the husband even more. Mm. Why would you reach out? You know she's married. The guy even made a comment about, oh, hey, next time her brother is in town, why don't we all get some cigars and have some scotch? Mm. And it just, it's going, it kind of goes south. And Michelle, can you, um, in my ear, tell me how it ended? I respectfully de decline your offer and I accept your apology. But you can see this chain. I mean, yeah. it's getting a yeah. little bit back and forth, back and forth. So what do you think about this? Okay, first of all, do mm. you believe, I mean, the wife seemed very sincere. Like this is an, an email I never checked. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you can maybe tell by the way he reached out to her. Mm -hmm. Hey, hi, hey, what's up with you, you know? Yeah. I, and then. But how do you think about the way the husband handled this? I think he handled it wrong. I think once he found out that the wife didn't know or whatever case may be, let her handle it from there. Or how is she going to handle it? If her intentions were never to reply to it, it should have stopped right there. Hmm. But see, his insecurity made him reach out to the guy. Why are you reaching out to my wife? What's going on here? Now, I, I think that the guy has uh, all right to reach out to the wife. They were together at some point. So whoa, him, yeah, whoa, yeah, yeah. Whoa, his, okay, whoa. so <laughs> what? His concern about where she is is his concern. Now, again, you, you're you're married, right? Ex-boyfriend or whatever decides to reach out to you. That's all he's doing. He's reaching out. Maybe he thought about you or something like that. And wants to see how you're doing. Yes. At that point, that's all it is. Sure. As far as we know. Now, if you you decide that you're going to reply to it, and then he starts going somewhere else, it's also on you to say, Hey, look, I'm yes. married. This, thanks for, for checking up on me. I'm good. Whatever. Right. This happened to me uh -huh. um, last summer with my longtime high school college sweetheart who I loved, who, Rick, uh, who Jim has met before. And he's recently divorced, but mm -hmm. I still check in with his mom. And it was a very benign message. Okay. And I wrote back just how much I love his mom. I hope mm -hmm. he's doing well. Yeah, yeah. He, we kept it very platonic. Right. And I told Jim. Right. So uh, you're saying, though, in this case, um, you think that the guy who is watching, by the way, the viewer, he might have overreacted. I think so. I think so. Once he went to his wife and said, Made me think so. Hey, uh, did you see this email? And she says, I know nothing of it. Why would he reply then? That is true. Unless something I, was in the email that said, hey. It wasn't. Right. So if it was a, hey, how you doing? Just checking in on you. He overreacted a little bit. Especially after his wife says she didn't even know anything about right. it. Right. At that point, he inserted himself into it. Hey, why are you checking on my wife? Which now gives the guy mm -hmm. some father to go on and, with. Yeah, and then unfortunately, the guy, we'll post it, post it on um, our Facebook page. The guy got a little bit too, um, yeah, you could tell then yeah. he, he actually escalated it Absolutely. by his response to the husband, like, oh, yo, dude, let's go get a S something cigar. Something typical of a lot of guys. Right. Right? Okay. Yeah, and the wife is now just oblivious to the whole thing. Right. Right. I mm -hmm. no. I I would say. Um, I mean, I know Jim pretty well. He, uh, unless something was so crude and right. inappropriate, right. Um, I, Jim would never reach out. Right. Unless because he said he, something right. If if he's like, why this guy do? Okay. Like. Right. We're gonna just drop it because mm -hmm. you're showing that you really care, and actually, you're right. You're showing. Perhaps, Mr., and I, I, I hope you don't think we're coming down on you, 
Well, it's, well, it's already said and done. So where do we go from here? No, maybe just learn from this experience. I would drop it, and, and he needs to talk. It. He needs to talk about it. What he's done with his wife, right? Yeah. I would I would talk it over with my wife. Let her know what I did, whatever the case may be. Just in case this guy actually now reaches out to her, right? Right. Just let him know. Maybe here's on why. Facebook or something. Here's why I responded the way I responded. Yeah. Here's what I did. You know, maybe I shouldn't have done it, but I did it. Yeah. You know, here's where we well, are. Well, you know, they say the opposite of love isn't hate; it's indifference. So you know, don't show all your feelings and. Listen, I'm one to talk. I'm the most reactive person on the planet. <laughs> no, it's awful. Yeah, okay, yeah, 50. I'm still yeah. trying to get better, but it's you know yeah. you you're indifferent. Like my wife is. Some may think she's still smoking hot or whatever. I, and I, I look at that she as it, she is smoking hot, and that's oh. probably why the guy is reaching back. She probably is a great person, and that's why the guy is reaching back. Yeah. He had a friend that he lost. It's on him. He lost her. You got her. Yes, you right? got you her. You got her, right? Wow. But he, she, now he's now reaching out to her just to see what, what she's doing. Now, it's on her to respond or not or whatever, but Hold she should on. let her husband know. Michelle would like a follow-up question, but okay. Michelle, I just told, she wants to know what reason would the ex have to reach out. Now, I will tell you, my ex, who uh, he knows through the great, like I'm happily married, mm -hmm. um, he literally, I think, just wanted to say, Mom still says how much you check in on her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, she's living by herself now since my dad died. You don't know. I mean, maybe it was really truly altru altruistic like that, Michelle. Well, you, I, you or know, maybe not in this case. I don't know. What makes you think, all right, if we were dating, why when we break up now I lose all the feelings I ever had for you? Why, why, was that the, why do we think that that's the case? If I cared yeah. for you enough to date you, I don't stop caring for you. Right. And, and if I know you're married, you've moved on. I'm just checking in to see how everything is going. Yeah. If it's okay with your husband. Right. I should, like in your case, get to know both of you now. Oh, I don't think Jim. I mean, I. No. Uh, Jim's I not down okay. with that, huh? No, Jim's not down. I mean, but, no, and just like I've and, met. And, and, and that should be respected as well. Ex girlfriends. If, 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 but yeah, I don't need to be best friends with them. Right. So, but uh, now, does he have any ex girlfriends that may check in on him or something like that? Not that he tells me. Ooh. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Um, I mean, he's Facebook <laughs> friends with them. Right, and, right, right. But I don't. So they say, hey, Jim, happy birthday. Yeah. No, I mean, it's good. that's okay. There it is. Yeah, I, there you know, is. I feel for this man, and I'm so glad that we, Michelle, we have to wrap really. Oh. Um, <laughs> all right, we go. We'll get to the other questions next week. Listen, that was a good one. That was, good. that was a really good, good one. What's good. done is done, but um, you know, maybe he, uh, like I said, it's it's done. You already did it, but you know, going forward. Um, that guy pressed your buttons, yeah. you know, yeah, and yeah, yeah, and yeah. you reacted. And again, if you see the the, it's the like chain, the, it's, it's like the shark that sees the blood in the water. Yeah. Right? If, he's, if he notices there may be a problem with the marriage, he's going to egg it on. Especially if he if his intention is to get her back. Right. You're right. And you just helped him. I out. say, you know what, Chesley? I'm going to disagree with you as we close this out and just say you really shouldn't be reaching out. I mean, you really shouldn't, unless there's like a death in the family or something really serious. I don't really think I don't reach out to my ex-boyfriends. Then, then the wife should let that be known to him. Right. Ex, right? She. She should she be. Should she should let him know. I agree. That. Don't I agree. Contact me any longer. Right. We're done. Right. Whatever. She that should be the one to say that. Give me hot. Hey, they that's what I the do. They need the love nudge app. They lead. The, they, right? This husband and wife too. Did you hear about that? <laughs> Kara's got some. You don't need it because you're the love doctor. All right. Please <laughs> keep um, all your questions coming. Yes. We do keep them yes. private and mm -hmm. anonymous. Mm -hmm. uh, send us an email. It's guest at Atlanta and Company com for your chance to be featured right here mm -hmm. and the best of luck yeah. I get it I'm super emotional I would have been like listen here you <laughs> <laughs>